Hello Taurus. I'm doing a reading that I labeled now simply because we're looking at your current situation. We'll let the cards decide what the message is for you. Nothing less <laughs> and nothing more. <laughs> Let's just see. Um, I am starting with planets. I do love to bring astrology um, into the readings because anyway, I believe astrology and tarot work really well together. <laughs> They're almost inseparable. Let us see what that energy is for you, Taurus. What are we looking at in the moment? A blue moon. Those are so, so rare. There was none in 2022. The next one, I've looked it up. Um, a while ago, but I remember because I want to know when the next. I wanted to know when the next one is, and I believe it's August thirtieth or thirty first, two thousand twenty three. So, depending where you are, it'll be on the thirtieth or the thirty first of August. So it's it's in a few months, right? Anyway, those are rare. It usually uh, they're indicative of a second um, a blue moon is the second uh, full moon within the same month i don't want to get into details but there is a d another definition when it's a seasonal uh, blue moon but all you need to know is they're rare <laughs> They're like the Friday the 13th of full moons, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, I just grabbed the tarot deck, but I wanted to actually go to the Zen tarot. I haven't used those cards in a little while, and I thought it'd be great to uh, pull the deck out. Okay, we've got quite a few cards, and I'm okay with that for this uh, particular reading. And this particular deck, three cards. I only read uprights with those. We have innocence. We have success. And it's the year of the tiger. Uh, it's ending in February, obviously. It's a um, Chinese uh, horoscope is based on the lunar cycle. So we still have a few months of that tiger energy. And then there's letting go. That's an interesting mix. Um, what I'm sensing is, uh, you're gonna f maybe disagree, but it's okay. I mean, it's only one way of looking at things, but I thought I'd bring it up. For me, it's like letting go of success and maybe sticking to innocence, right? So instead of focusing only on mere ambitions and you know, constant, um, I want to say like almost pushing yourself all the time, right? Maybe it'd be nice to like come back to more childlike, um, sweet, um, the energy of like savoring uh, just life for what it is in all simplicity and very much so in the moment. Aries just had that moment to moment card. I just did the reading. So it's the same energy of living in the present. And the energy of letting go here is surrendering, surrendering to this, right? Just allowing to Uh, what's the right way to say this? Instead of like always trying to become or to have more, you know, get to another echelon or 
I don't know. I just want to tell you, um, enjoy where you are, the, you know, for what it is. For what it's worth <laughs> and by that i'm being sarcastic about what i'm saying to you you know for what it's worth we'll take it or leave it right it's <laughs> and yet it's a play also on words because for what it's worth um in terms of maybe wanting to let go of your ambitions and your i want to say goals but like mundane goals like practical and um, the things you'd be showing off uh, instead of just like enjoying um, life let's go into the tarot <laughs> and really see what's going on and why these cards came up for you because you have the rarity of a blue moon coupled with um, basically a message of stop doing just enjoy right almost <laughs> if I'm good to, if I was to make a, a short sentence first card <laughs> two of pentacles it's funny, they have little devils on there. <laughs> okay, let's keep pulling. You get, this is the Queen of Cups, but she came out in reverse. This is her. She's in reverse here. What else, please? Let me just move some cards. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords. This is the King <laughs> and the Knight of Swords with it. Let's start here, we'll, we'll keep pulling, but let's give it a go for now. So my first thought is to see if I can feel out the blue moon in the tarot, see if I see it here. <laughs> You're gonna find it funny, but the blue moon is on the Queen of Cups because of this beautiful blue um, dress. If you look at the two images together, right? The stars on this dress is like um, sort of the detail here on this blue moon. Obviously, it's not identical. I know that. But with the cards of tarot that are here, it's 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 the blue that comes out. It's the only blue almost, or the most obvious one. So the blue moon become becomes, I was gonna say belongs, but it becomes the queen of cups. Interesting. So water energy, emotional, very emotional. A little too much because she's in reverse. <laughs> What's overwhelming here? There's an energy of being overwhelmed. This Knight of Swords is coming in really, really fast. He's coming in very fast. Okay. It's an interesting mix here. I'm going to I'm going to show you something. You have three little devils. They look like kids. Then we have a woman and then we have a man. 
And then we have this uh, charging energy. And the way the cards are placed, the knight is actually charging towards all of these people that I've just described. Literally. The queen and the king are facing straight. The three little kids almost, um, they're kind of facing forward. But that knight is coming sideways. It's, it's an interesting energy. It's also an energy of going against the current. That makes a lot of sense to say going against the current because it goes against the current to let go of success, basically. And all of these worldly concerns, which was the initial message. And I'm gonna show you something. Oh my gosh, I love how this just came up into my mind, okay? I have to show you. This is the way the cards are placed on the table. The knight is facing, okay, so first card out, second, third, fourth. It's like, it's going backwards. It's like, the knight is, is telling you to, it feels almost like contradictory in terms of progression, but that's exactly what the return to innocence is. It wants you to move from the king into the queen into maybe these almost childlike, um, maybe even being becoming a child again. So return to innocence. What a strange read. <laughs> Maybe this happens to you. Um, it unfolds now. And reaching uh, the return to innocence being reached uh, maybe in August 2023. Because it's a process. Because you need to surrender. You need to let go. You need to unwind this energy. You need to slowly um, deconstruct. In a good sense, this is not like demotion. This is not uh, becoming poor. This is nothing negative. This is about mainly, first of all, it's symbolic. Second of all, it's internal, internalized, I believe. But I do think there's uh, maybe something happening outwardly, of course, in terms of showing or as showing up for whatever changes are occurring inside. But either way, um, it's just like the Aries we read. There's a lot of wisdom. Uh, they had the Hermit card. And, you know, in this case, becoming childlike is like becoming wise because look it's the idea of becoming young again but yet the person is old but they're smiling and happy just like a child it's a beautiful energy because isn't it wondrous <laughs> How, you know, sometimes um, you get older and yet um, you could feel so young inside, especially in your heart, right? And life is beautiful when you're there, especially in that place, especially when you're looking at life through the eyes of the heart. <laughs> what did I pull? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Again, unwinding success, slowing down, curtailing uh, seven of wands. Let's keep pulling. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same message uh, ongoing. Let's see if it's starting to tell us something else. Three cards came out. Oh 
wow, no way. We have the Seven of Swords, but in reverse, which is good. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. And then we have, this is the Five of Swords. But I want you to see that right now on the table, because of the sequence, now we have three Sevens. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. So seven, seven, seven. Booked mark by the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Swords. something unfair or something um, what's the right energy what, what am I really sensing here It feels like unfair, like something being that's unfair because it's unwanted, unwarranted. I say that because we have the Five of Swords coming up, especially at the end like that. The only, well, it's close to that Knight, knight of Swords, right? That particular energy that is kind of intrusive to be honest even though it's forcing you to backtrack and bringing you back <laughs> it's like from the king to the queen to being a child um oh my gosh it's a little strange but i just got the um the image of i mean not that it's happened to me but they say that um sometimes when you're in a very um uh, in a situation where you feel your life is in danger or there's something really uh, kind of, yeah, I, I'm going to say like that. You see your, your life go f f in f like flash in front of your eyes and it feels like this, but it's like a backward motion. <laughs> I mean, I've seen this in movies, right? They They try to picture it for you. And sometimes it is shown as a backward uh, chronology, not always, but it's the idea that you see your eyes, your life flash before your eyes. It's, a, it's, it's this feeling. So it's unwarranted because you might be in a position that is stressful. I think maybe it's uh, uncanny for you to let go of success, uh, Taurus. Maybe you are kind of fighting it or maybe it's opposite to what you've already um, sort of built and the kind of forward motion that you feel your life should be taking. You know what I mean? So I'm going to kind of play along here and I'm going to say that I'm going to read the cards backwards the same way I read the first four backwards, basically seeing it as something that unfolds. From end towards beginning, I'm going to use the same chronology. So the five of swords into the seven of pentacles, into the seven of swords in reverse, into the seven of wands, into the six of pentacles in reverse. So moving from when you're in a place of success and you always have to strive, right? Remember I said you kind of always have to uphold that those ambitions, those goals and like put in so much effort. So we start with that energy and then you unwind into, well, you've planted those seeds and you've watched them grow. 
and then um, before planting those seeds um, we're strategizing because the seven of swords in reverse it's about how you're gonna get to your <laughs> to your bounty right somehow um, how are you gonna get that prize or so you're strategizing especially because in reverse you can you can really say that because it, it has less of a conniving energy or connotation I should say and then from having strategized uh, you were basically in a place where <laughs> you didn't have much um, and you were um, trying to uphold what you had basically at that point before you moved into strategizing to obtain more and then planting basically more seeds and trying to generate more into striving to keep everything you have by being successful. So then uh, we're back to how you were fenced in with uh, less than, how can I say? When you didn't have so, so much and you were working at protecting what you had into basically not having much and relying on the help of others, just like when you're a child, because you were dependent. This is really strange. It actually works. I mean, it's mesmerizing. <laughs> Why would everything go backwards? It's like that blue moon. It's like, remember I said it's overwhelming because of the blue and the emotions. We see water on the letting go card here. So maybe shedding tears even. It's really overwhelming to sort of, uh, obviously being Taurus, um, you do enjoy comfort. You do enjoy working very hard to obtain uh, results and um, maintaining. Actually, Tauruses are very stable and um, they're a fixed sign as well, right? So once they achieve something, they want to keep that level and always go up and, and rarely do they want to be pegged down, right? So it's really interesting that it works against nature in this case for you to return to innocence. It's a huge effort on your side. It overwhelms you. Yet, um, I believe there's um, wisdom I mentioned, but there's probably a lot of peace, simplicity, joy, if you're childlike. I'm going to say something as well, right? The Two of Pentacles is an energy of juggling, but when you think about it, juggling is also a game, right? I mean, and kids love to play. They don't mind juggling. They don't mind moving from one thing to another. They don't mind when things are, you know, in motion. They're not as um, triggered by change. They're not as triggered by quote-unquote instability. Very interesting read, seriously. Let me draw a trinket. It'll make a little noise, sorry. <laughs> the wolf. Well, when we see the wolf, uh, especially howling like this, it's, for me, it's a... Uh, It speaks of the moon, right? 
because the wolf will howl at the moon. I'll put this trinket on the blue moon. I have to say, this howling feels like the tears and the overwhelm that I was picking up. A lot of emotions related to that. There's something that needs to come out uh, from the throat. But it's emotions that are kept in the belly. Uh, there's a really interesting uh, mix here. It feels like something that's been wanting to, it's primal. It feels like um, something that really needs to, I'm hearing exhaled. Whoa, not sure where that came from, um, besides my subconscious. <laughs> or imagination. Um, it needs to come out. I'm not sure why, uh, or there's nothing else really to add to this, but um, I'm sorry, I got a little caught by surprise by the last word, but never mind. <laughs> On that note, I will close the reading here. Um, this has been a, one of those reads that, um, even for me, it, it was a little strange, I have to say. Uh, I've rarely seen something like that about a backward chronology and having to relinquish success, right? That's quite an interesting concept. Um, but the reward is, in a sense, um, wisdom, peace, and joy. <laughs> so there is something special about it, as special as the blue moon, <laughs> as rare as the blue moon. <laughs> so thank you for being here. I do appreciate that a lot. Uh, give me a thumbs up, share the video if you did like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Good night.